One of the promises of Easter is everyone can have a second chance. And sometimes that chance comes from us in the form of something called a God wink. The book, When God Winks at You, shares stories of those who were given a second chance by God at times when they needed him the most. The author of that book and my friend, Esquire Rushnell, he joins <laughs> us now, as well as Jerry Ponson, who is here to share his story. We'll start with you, Squire. What is a God wink? A God wink is one of those little coincidences that you know is not a coincidence. So if there's no coincidence to coincidence, what do you call it? A God wink. Mm -hmm. And Jerry P Ponson, Captain Jerry, has a great God wink story. Captain Jerry, let me hear this God wink story. Can you hear us, Jerry? Yes, I can. Jerry, will you tell me what happened to you that day when you were in the boat? Yes. When, what started out to be the worst day of my life wound up to be the best. Myself, my friend Mac, and his dog Booger set out in southern Louisiana to go duck hunting. We got caught in some bad weather out in the middle of a bay, and the boat got swamped, and the boat sunk. And we were standing on the gunnels, and water was up to our neck. It was about a half an hour before daylight, and uh, it was horrifying. And what was running through my mind, I, was, I would go back to the camp and go for help. But something mm -hmm. told me, don't leave Mr. Mack because of his health. So we stood there about two hours, and Mr. Mack kept telling me, Jerry, I'm getting cold. I can't think anymore. Well, I understand that's hypothermia. The dog, whose name is Booger, kept swimming around in circles. And he would swim around for 15 or 20 minutes, and he'd go back and come back, come back. About after two hours, I told him, Booger, go back, go back, go back. And he just left me. I said, well, that dog didn't make it. He'll never make it in these rough conditions. At that present time in my life, I didn't believe in miracles. I, was, uh, I knew there was a God, but I just didn't believe. So and what after happened? A while, how, did, how were you rescued? Uh, uh, after a while, I started to get cold. And uh, I, I put my hands in there. I said, God, please, please give us a second chance. Please send us a boat. And I turned around and looked at Mr. Mack. I said, Mack, there's nobody coming today. There's no duck hunters, fishermen, or trawlers today. We're going to die. And I looked up, and I could see in the distance, it looked like a cross coming. And it was the mass pose of a boat. And it was the only boat that came that day. It was a 72-foot trawl boat, and the name of the boat is the Second Chance. Wow. 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 Yes. That is that the God That makes the hairs on your arms stand up. That's incredible. <laughs> yes. And then what about your dog? The dog, well, Mac got a chance that day, I got a chance that day, and Booger got a chance that day. When we got mm -hmm. back to the shoreline, Booger was waiting for us. That's great. And when God winks, he, won he winked at me, and he winked at Mr. <laughs> Mac, and he winked at the dog, too. That's great. And I haven't been the same since. So you, you see, God. Ainsley, the, the message of Easter is that when you give God a second chance like Jerry did, yes. God will always give you a second chance. Amen. What a great message. Thank you both so much for sharing those two messages with us this morning. Thank you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you too, Squire.